Welcome to lesson 15 of A Course in Miracles. My thoughts are images that I have made. My thoughts are images that I have made. And this is a beautiful lesson. And, and once again, um, help us question what we see, because the what the course is helping us in this instance is to realize that we see according to the understanding that we have of what we see and the, and we, we looked at this idea before when i was mentioning um about the glass um with water and, and if i was someone coming from from another planet from mars and i would look at that i wouldn't really understand what i was looking at uh, the reason I knew that it was a glass and it had water was because that was the that was an information that was put in my brain uh, when I was little. So when I was little and I was looking at that object that was really you know I, I, I didn't know what I was looking at. I was told that that was a glass and it was uh, to drink water or to drink uh, you know whatever you need to drink. Um, and then if you were looking at the glass and it had water, well, that was water. So all that information had been put in my brain and in your brain. Therefore, um, when we look at with our eyes, and this is the invitation for this lesson today, we only look at according to the understanding that we have. Uh, so, so what it says is that um, we think like he says you think you think those thoughts and so you think what you see that you see them this is how your scene was made so the information was put in my brain and then i started at making a, um having an understanding of my world not only of the objects that i was looking at but also uh relationships uh ways of being so for example if i was a uh, uh, you know, and this is one, one, an idea that, you know, sometimes when we think, uh, for example, if someone is in a domestic violence, violence relationship and, um, and, and you go and, and someone else that doesn't understand that goes, how come that person is that in that, in that relationship and, and still believes that that's love? But if you think, if you look at the information that that person had as a child, maybe the parents were violent with, the, with her or him. Uh, and that was understood as love. So then that's the program that is put in, in the brain. Okay, this is love, uh, or this is a healthy relationship, and this is the information that we put in, in our brain. So then we go along our lives, and then we might attract a different type of, a, a, a different type of relationship, and we might go, well, but this is not really love, because it's really confronting with the idea that was placed as a child. So I know it's a bit tricky, the concept, uh, and this you just have to bear with it. So this is the function that we had given to our bodily or physical eyes. So the information was put in our brains, and then we started understanding and making sense of the images that we've been looking at. But what if those images only are our perception? I mean, how do we know that when we look at red, everybody sees the way red the way I see it or that you see it? So what he's uh, saying is that to go around the look, the room and, and, and just say this, uh, for example, this, I don't know, this, I'm just trying to get a pen that I've got here. This pen is an image that I have made. So I know that it's a pen because I, I've been told that it's a pen. So I can understand that as a pen, the shape, you know, this is a pen, to me it's a pen. But as I said, if I was give, uh, if we, we were to give this to a baby, they would not understand it at all. They would just see this long thing and it wouldn't understand it. So just go with this lesson slowly. I just go through it, through the room and just looking at it and say that these, um, I don't know, you see a chair, this, is, this chair is an image that I have made. So what he's trying to do is just 
questioning what we're looking at because until now everything we look at we believe that is the way we look at it we look at it not only the objects but as I said, relationships, when we look at ourselves in the mirror, the, the perception and idea that we have of different faces or people that we, we see. So as we, long, as we go along with, the, with, with all this, you know, this, this, this breaking down of this, uh, these ideas, we might have what they call the they call, they, uh, course calls light episodes, where we actually looking at things and suddenly we start, we start looking at it a little bit different. We might see shiny parts that we hadn't noticed. We might see light around some of the objects. And this is when we are actually awakening uh, another way of looking without, without, I mean, another way of looking apart from looking at with our physical eyes. Because at the moment we look at something with our physical eyes and it's like, okay, this is the only way I look at it. But the invitation at the moment is to start understanding that I look at it this way because of my own beliefs, but what if there was another way of looking at things? Um, so the, the, the lesson today, it asks us to just go about a minute, you know, um, or, you know, once or twice or three times a day, however you, however comfortable you are, and just go. Um, oh my God, this is going on fire. Sorry, <laughs> I had an incident and it went on fire. Um, and just go around and just go. You know, this is this uh, book is an image that I have made. This this hand is an, an image that I have made. And just go without trying to question it too much with your head. Just the only thing that is asking you is just to repeat the exercise and see how you go. So enjoy the lesson. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow for lesson 16.